men and women need different things, you know, depending on your exercise levels, you know, body type, all that sort of stuff. So it's good to do a bit of research and work out maybe what, what's good for you, what aches and pains you've got, and what can you do to uh, aid some of that and also uh, prevent, a bit of a preventative approach. How's it going? Wanted to chat today about um, health, fitness and health. Uh, I often have people ask me, like, um, I'm 57 years old, I'll be 58 this year. Um, still for really active, you know, I obviously, um, you know, do a lot of building work. I'm in the process of building a shed at the moment. When I travel, I move around a lot. I'm still pretty fit and healthy. I feel like I don't really feel any different than I did 10 years ago. Yeah, there's aches and pains and there's things that you can't quite push your body, but I'm still pretty fit and healthy. And um, people say, oh, you must work out a lot, you must exercise a lot. And the truth is I don't. I don't actually exercise or work out a lot specifically for that activity. And yeah, I've got a gym at home where I can exercise and you know, I've got an electric bike and I've got weights and I've got all that sort of stuff. But I find, personally, I find exercise for the sake of exercise really boring. Um, it's really dull and I can sort of get into it, but um, I don't find it that exciting. So sometimes I find it hard to stay motivated. But then I look back on what I do and how do I, uh, how do I maintain and how do I keep my fitness and my health? You know, as, particularly as you're getting older. When you're younger, you can get away with stuff. You know, I do like to drink. Um, you know, love a gin and tonic, love a Cuban rum. You know, we make our own wine, so I obviously love wine. Um, and, and often, uh, it happens more and more, people say, well, look, you know, I've given up drinking, or I'm cutting back my drinking. Um, which I get, you know, from a health point of view. I think uh, more and more today, things that, oh, red wine, a glass of red wine can be good for you. You know, the data shows that probably no alcohol is really good for you. So you have to make a personal decision around what's important to you. And do you get, if you get enjoyment out of it, do you want to give it up? And what does that, what does that mean for your health and your ability to, 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 to you know, have a long life and be, be, have that vitality? And so my viewpoint is, I'd rather not give up drinking, which I enjoy, not give up things that I get enjoyment out of, but make sure that I can balance that by you know, doing a bit of a, a sort of not necessarily detoxing, but how do I keep my body in a better state to manage that sort of stuff. There's a few things that I have as a bit of a health routine, and they're, very, they're pretty simple, and I just really wanted to share some of that stuff with you and some of my thinking around that. First thing that I found as I, as I got older um, was to, and it's not just a physical, there's also a mental thing which is about um, your state of mind. And I started doing yoga years ago now, it's probably been, I don't know, I'm thinking it's five or six years ago. Um, you know, I sort of always thought about it, never got really into it. The idea of having to go down to a class and you know a certain location at a certain time every week it doesn't work for me i just don't like that that type of routine um but then i thought yeah i should give rogue yoga and my driver was i was going to go on a ski trip in japan i'm not a big skier and i thought you know it's probably going to put some put some you know um stress on my body uh get some soreness so maybe if I do some stretching and I do some yoga, will help that. And so that was sort of a driver to, to get into it. So it's probably been about five years, five, six years ago that I started doing yoga and I try to do yoga pretty much every day. And the way I found it is I, I, there's an app called Yoga. It's like an app you can download. And I went through and I, I just started watching, learnt from that and then just got into it. And you can create your own particular uh, yoga sessions, you've got your favourites, all sorts of things. One for back, one for this, one for that. And I really, I really like it. The thing I like about that approach to it, I don't really need to go to a class because I get up at five in the morning most days. We've got a really nice deck out the front. I go out there, roll a mat out. Uh, during summer, it's nice and warm and I do yoga. Great way to start the day. Birds are out waking up. The sun's just coming over the ridge line of the hills. It's just fantastic. And so the first thing that I I really highly recommend is um, is getting into some yoga. The benefits I found from that is it it's a bit of a routine. It's definitely created a bit more. I feel, I feel in my own body uh, definitely a bit more limber, able to stretch. I don't get as much aches and pains. And when I do get a pain somewhere, I can sort of target it through some uh, sort of the targeted yoga. I'm no by no means a yoga expert. I've never been to a yoga class in my life. 
I've just used the app and I, it just feels good and it works for me and it enables me to not only do stretching but to get into a bit of a good mental state to kick the day off. There's a Brad Pitt movie, Wall Z, I can't remember the exact name of it, and um, it, was in, it was in a building and the zombies were coming and approaching and they were all about to break in and there was a family in, the, in this apartment and they said, we're staying, we're staying. And I just remember this line and it was so pertinent, I think. He said, uh, I'd suggest you go and just keep moving and then he said, movement is life, which is really interesting. Movement is life. And so then I went, oh, movement is life. That's really interesting. Oh, didn't end well for them. He took off. They didn't move. It was pretty bad. And, and I've always re really reflected on that, that one of the things that we're made to do is move. If you move, if you keep moving. Uh, I'm sort of wired that way anyway, so I move a lot. You know, without, if I, I don't do any exercise, I'm doing 10, 11, 12, 13,000 steps a day. You know, it's just without any designated exercise. So I tend to move a lot. So one of the things that I like to do is how I incorporate movement and you know, not just being static in the way that I live my life. For my business, there's no physicality in what I do. It's always stuff like this, meeting with people, Zoom calls you know, on a computer. And so a bit of balance is introducing some physicality. And you could do that a number of ways sports, hobbies, what you love to do. I love to build, um, I love to get my hands into stuff. I, you know, I really like to build. There's a funny funny story, I was out, of, I've got a block not far from my house where I'm doing some work building the shed. I, and I was out there and a guy came and dropped off a container. He says, oh, you must, uh, what do you do? You're a tradie. I said, no, no, I'm not a tradie. And he goes, uh, oh, you must be a bricklayer then. I said, no, I'm not a bricklayer. I just look like a bricklayer, you know, the way I was dressed and what I was doing. and this. And so, but I, I love that physicality. Uh, so building a shed, very physical, you know. I don't know if I do it all the time, but building up and down ladders and cutting material and putting stuff. So there's opportunities in our life where we can do two things. We can pay someone to do stuff. And often that's the logical thing. Well, I don't really like it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to spend time on that. Or I can, I can afford to pay someone to do that, so we don't. But actually there's an opportunity to, for some movement and some, for some exercises just incorporated in your day-to-day -day existence. So I, I sort of really look for that in the way that I live my life. You know, if there's things that I can do, sure, I can pay someone to do it. But, you know, I enjoy it. I don't mind building. Instead of sort of jumping in the car, ride a bike down. I've got an electric bike. I've got a normal bike. Um, I jump on the electric bike, we're in a very up and down hilly zone where we live and so I get out there and it means I can travel further, take the dog for a run. Um, I just look at how I can incorporate, that's exercise but the task was taking the dog out so then I'll jump on the bike and get some exercise. That's another thing I always look to do is to how I can incorporate movement and exercise in just what I do every day without having to dedicate specific time to exercising as such. You know, particularly at my age, you need to, you know, we, we might be deficient in certain things, you know. Um, one of the things that I do is I take uh, vitamin C every day. I use a particular brand, the Swiss brand, vitamin C, the, the little tablet you drop in a glass of water. I just take that every day. It's a good preventative. It's one gram of vitamin C per tablet. I just do that every day. I take them when I travel. I take them when I'm at home. Just a good preventative. And the other thing when I'm at home, and most days, is I make up a... It's a bit of a vitamin concoction um, and the reason I do that is I take a whole bunch of vitamins because you've got to replenish your body so there's a whole bunch I'll take in, the, in this concoction I'll use an olive leaf oil extract, I use a immune builder, I've got vitamin B3, uh, I've got uh, you know at my age prostate's an issue so you can take some tablets for prostate, there's a multivitamin in there, there's all sorts of things that I found are important for me at this stage of life. So it's a really good way to, you know, sometimes you just feel like you're gonna eat. So it really sort of suppresses wanting to eat because it's like a meal in itself. Uh, and I, often I'll just look at what's in the fridge. There might be some watermelon, there's something that's been hanging about for a while, so I think I'll just zap it. So that's a really good way to sort of feed your body, get some vitamins in. And, and the trick is to make it taste good. Um, it's like everything, you know. If it tastes 
If it doesn't taste great and you don't love it, eventually you're going to go, I just can't do this anymore. So I'm really big on making it taste good. If it doesn't taste that great, you know, I, I change it or I add some other flavour to it or do something different with it. Men and women need different things, you know, depending on your exercise levels, you know, body type, all that sort of stuff. So it's good to do a bit of research and work out maybe what, what's good for you, what aches and pains you've got and what can you do to... Uh, aid some of that and also uh, prevent a bit of a preventative approach it's like cars you know I've got some old cars that I drive around and the approach can be you just drive it and then when it breaks you fix it uh, if you're in a remote location that sucks I prefer to do preventative stuff and just get stuff replaced before it's likely to break and it's the same with your own body you know before it's likely to break do preventative stuff which means maintaining and keeping it keeping it really better tuned you know so that's another thing that I really focus on uh, and, and I think there's two sides to the whole health thing. Obviously there's the physical side of it and then there's the mental side of it. So what gives you joy? What do you love? Uh, and often what happens is, you know, we, we, from a health, physical health perspective, we can deprive ourselves of things that we enjoy. So I think it's sort of one of those things, you know, and it's different stages in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 50s. I mean, for me, uh, being able to do what I'm doing now, you know, um, having that vitality and that sort of energy is going to be really dependent on how fit and healthy and building these habits that can carry me forward into, you know, the year 60 and 70 and 80 and whatever, keep moving. Because, you know, the, I, I can think of nothing worse that would be super frustrating is that, I, you know, I've got some sort of injury I'm not able to move and because that sort of gets into a bit of a spiral. So a lot, of, a lot of things, you know, there's a lot of opportunities for us to just incorporate that in our life um, and, and make it fun, you know, which can really improve your health, both men mentally and physically. You know, look for things that give you joy uh, and see how you can incorporate that. Look for opportunities to do stuff and move wherever you can instead of sort of, you know, take some stairs and instead of catching the elevator. It's a simple one, you know, walk somewhere where you'll ride a bike instead of driving the car, particularly if we're close. Uh, lots of opportunity for doing that sort of stuff, which means I don't have to go and dedicate time to exercising. So look, hopefully that was a, an insight. Um, I do feel that like, I mean, really good. Uh, physically, I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. Uh, you know, I, I weighed, I think when I was 18, I was a little bit thin. I weighed 68, 69 kilos. I used to work out when was it, in my late 20s, 30s, like early, mid, mid late 20s, and I bulked up to 80 was, you know, but I had to consume thousands and thousands of calories a day. And I found now my natural body weight is around that 75 kilos. And so it's just my natural body weight and it feels really good. So I've, I've, it's just exactly where I need to be uh, and looked at improving my strength. And so resistance or strength resistance, you know, it's that whole adage of if you want to, if you want to keep it, you've got to use it, you know, and that applies to lots of things. If you want to keep it, you need to use it. So use your body, you know, it's the same with cars, you know, if a car just sits there without being used, it really deteriorates, and that's the same with us and our physicality. So look, yeah, so uh, have a think about it, look about how you can incorporate some really, it's very simple, build it into your day-to-day -day life, and it can really make a difference to your vitality, your energy, and your ability to just do stuff and not feel tired all the time. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch up with you on, the, uh, on, on another video. Ciao for now. Thanks for listening. As you know, we grow organically. Uh, it's really people like yourself that enable us to get the word out. If you like what you hear, please uh, give us a rating, leave a good comment and share this with your friends. Thank you.